I, the Lord is our righteousness. How many times have we been taught you need to do this and do do that, that your righteousness is based off of your performance? How many people have been taught you got to live right and do right and out of living right and doing right, then you'll find yourself to be righteous before God. But any righteousness that comes out of your performance, any righteousness that comes out of what you do, how you live, how you act, how often you read your Bible, how many times you go to Bible study, how many times you go to church, or how many times you didn't do bad things, or how many times you didn't sin, how many times you obeyed the Ten Commandments, or how many times you did all that. All that is filthy rags to God. That righteousness is not good enough. The righteousness that is good enough is the one in which we hand it off to Christ, who is our righteousness. Now, it's not based off of our performance. It's based off of the posture of our heart. And so many of us get this wrong because we're too busy trying to perform for God. We're too busy trying to do it for God. We're too busy trying to win it for God. We're too busy trying to live it out for God in a way to, ex to receive God's acceptance, to receive God's approval, to say, okay, God, I'm actually living the way you want me to live. I'm doing the best that I can. You know what's crazy to me? What's crazy to me is sometimes when I ask people, hey, how do you know that you're going to heaven? And the answer that I get from a lot of people is, well, because I'm being the best person that I can be. Because I'm doing the best that I can. Because I'm doing good. I'm, I'm trying to do as much good as I can and as little bad as I can. I'm trying to, you know, to, to follow the Bible as much as I can or just try to be a good person. There, there it is. I'm going to try to be a good person. I'm trying to be the best person that I can. I believe if I can just be the best person I can do as much good as I can, then that's good enough. And yet he says in his word, your righteousness is filthy rags to him. Actually being the best person that you can be is not good enough because all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And if we can just be honest with ourselves, we could try to be the best we can be. And yet we all know it ain't good enough. Deep down inside, we know we're not perfect. Deep down inside, we know, man, we fall profoundly short of the perfection and the glory of God. And yet, even though we all fall short of it, even in the good things, we all fall short of it. And even when we experience this righteousness that is filthy racks to God, there's another righteousness that's so much better, and it's the one in Christ. Christ is our righteousness. The Lord is our righteousness. And Jeremiah now is pointing us to this new reality. He's pointing us to this new reality that this covenant that we attempted to obey, this covenant that we attempted to follow, this covenant, and when I say we, let's just back up, back up for a minute. The children of Israel, this covenant that they've been given. You know what's crazy? I'm sorry. I'm I'm this might be read and go off for real. What's crazy to me is how we expect people to live according to the scriptures when all the people in the scriptures couldn't live according to the law. We we, we expect people today to live and to be a people who live according to a law that they couldn't live according to. Peter actually calls it in um, Acts chapter 15, he called it the yoke that they even couldn't bear. The children of Israel couldn't be those people, but no, we still expect people today to be the people that the people in the Bible couldn't even be. I find that interesting because all too often we're putting a standard on people that even the people in the scriptures couldn't meet up to. This covenant, this law, there wasn't anything wrong. I want to make sure you understand this. There wasn't anything wrong with the covenant. There wasn't anything wrong with the contract that God was making with the children of Israel. There was a problem with Israel. And what the contract exposed was the problem that there was with Israel. The Israelites made a, they agreed to this contract with God. But they couldn't live up to the terms of that agreement. Israel couldn't live up to the standard that they agreed to live up to. Israel said we would be this people, but in the end, Israel could not believe it. 
could, could, could not be it. And what Jeremiah is exposing is that it's not that there was anything wrong with the covenant. There was something wrong with the people. The covenant was fine, but the people still had their own motives, that the people still had their own desires. And it's their own motives. They're being human. I'm only human. There's another one. It's their being human now that, ex that the law exposes how their humanity falls short of the divinity and the glory of God. 